And again, you know, we still had all of our goals in front of us. And again, you got to, you, you have to make sure that you know guys don't start just tear in units and people start turning the backs on each other, pointing fingers. So, as a captain, as an offensive leader, uh, you know, it's my job. You know, my job and the other guys in the offense to continue to work on the receivers. You know, keep everybody on a positive. Keep everybody moving in the right direction. Uh, again, because we had everything in front of us and stuff like that. Billy, well on it, but what what did happen from your perspective? Now a week away. Like again, a little breakdown. Again, I, short memory going back and going. You know, we watched the film. You know, address what happened. During the week practice coming into this week. Got yeah, a fresh mind, fresh slate, and we're out there and have some fun. Bill, is this the offensive line's finest hour, at least, at least this season? I mean, what's your, this is the team number three in the country against the run. Yeah, I, I just, again, we talked to our coaches. They came in with a really, really good game plan. They understood what they were going to do, the adjustments for some of our formations. Execute at a high level, and you start to see good things happen. So, again, you know, we're doing our job as a whole. Uh, everybody's executing, JT was executing, everybody's doing their job. So, that's kind of what you see with that product. Billy, Billy, on Mike's first touchdown run, it looks like you got that one two big blocks to spring him there. Do you remember that play at all in particular? Does that stand out to you, what you did? Was that the one Mike went down for like 80 yards or something? It was the first one, it was, I think it was like 47. You, you got one block to your right, and then you turn around and- Oh, yeah, yeah, uh, yeah, just based on, uh, they were blitzing, uh, they were bringing the end, was crashing, making sure again, uh, you know, Demetrius Narch was coming from the backside. Again, I felt him, was able to come back off the linebacker, open up that hole, and again, Mike's doing what Mike's supposed to do. You know, again, running north and south, running with some tenacity, and again, and I told him at the sideline, I said, I thought you were gonna get caught. <laughs> I, and the second one too, so I thought you were going to get caught. You're getting a little, you know, but he's, uh, again, it's, it's nice to see when the offense is clicking. Uh, you know, guys are healthy going out there executing on a high level. I know you don't like, and you did a good job deflecting the attention from yourself here, but is that a perfect play for an offensive lineman or a center? To get two big blocks and then spring a long touchdown run. Yeah, I mean, being that we're uncovered, that's kind of a, that's kind of the advantage of it itself is make sure that you know we help our guards, right? you know, left guard, right guard, whatever the case it is, uh, and then get up on a second level player and you know make sure that you know you impose your will on somebody. Um, and again, you know, running backs are doing what they're supposed to do. What do you think it says about this team that when you have a disappointment like last week, this is the way you guys respond? Uh, I mean, we came in, you know, we went back to the basics. We always talk about making sure that, you know, our, our core fundamentals, you know, four to six, so to be, you know, competitive excellence and making sure guys are on point. That's kind of what we, the theme that we went into the week with. Uh, just seeing a lot of you know a lot of guys who are focused again you know in the week of practice itself you know Tuesday Wednesday you might have a little bit of mishaps you know the coaching staff worked really really hard this week to make sure that our guys were prepared the game plan going forward and you know you see again you see the product when everybody's on the same page so how I'm really happy clearly different was it this week were there things that were just obviously different than it was going into last week's game uh, I mean, it comes down to execution. I mean, we had a pretty good game plan going into against Iowa. Um, just, you know, just a little breakdowns here and there. So that's that's literally the only difference. So this week, last week, guys executed, went in there, you know, didn't think too much, just went off, got off the ball, and had some fun. Billy, I think a lot of people have been waiting for the team to show this much commitment to the run. How much better do you feel like you are when you're relying on JK and Mike and even JT to? to I mean, we always, game? We, as an offense, again, you want to put, the, I want to put the game on me. I want to make sure that we control the line of scrimmage and we get off, uh, you know, start to dominate again in the first half, you know, we set the tempo, we set the tone. If you, if you get your run game going, the pass game starts over. And I continue to preach this, and, and that's, you know, our coaching staff, you know, Coach Wilson, Coach Studd, um, you know, everybody on the offense made sure that that happened. Again, develop the run, set the tone, and especially in a Big Ten, you know, a physical Big Ten game like it is against Michigan State, who it's always a slugfest. You know, everybody struggles to get yards, gain yards here, gain yards here, and again, when you, the offensive line sets the tempo, comes out, you know, it, it comes out hard like we did today, you see good things happen. You were, on the you were on the team two years ago when you lost to Michigan State and then went up to Michigan. Do you sense a similar feeling as to the, the way an Urban Meyer team bounces back like that? Um. I mean, in both those years, it was kind of different situations and stuff. So, it's, you know, in 14, when we went up there, um, again, you know, very, very talented teams. In 15, when they came here, we just, you know, it comes down to different ex comes down to execution. And football can be a struggle. If guys don't execute, football can be really easy when guys do. So it's all about putting a man on a man and executing. But the bounce back, the bounce back against Michigan the next week compared to this week, like oh, you guys Michigan, were able to, yeah, yeah. to bounce back. Yeah, that was huge. Uh, again, you set yourself up, you know, make offensive coaches come up with a good game plan and go out there and have some fun. But Louis, you, you, lose, you lose and then you guys pound it the next week. Is that a coincidence or is that something that when when you guys look inside yourselves and say we got to get refocused, that ends up being let's be physical and run it? Yeah, and yeah, yes. Yes, I mean the coaches are the coaches are the ones who make the decision for it. Um, you know, again, we continue to say, you know, hey, put the, run the ball, run the ball, run the ball. But coaches came in with a good game plan. You know, stuck to the run, dedicated themselves to it, and uh, you start you start some really good things tonight. Billy, when you know.